Whether you're a digital photographer looking to switch to analog or you're just new to photography altogether and want to know how to load some old camera that you found or inherited or what have you, that's what this video is all about. More than anything, please don't skip this step because I can't tell you how many times my film turned out like this. Stay tuned till the end because I will not only show you how to load your camera, but also how to take the film back out once you're done shooting it. First of all, you're going to need your 35 millimeter film, it can be color or black and white, and your camera. Now, most analog cameras are working pretty much the same. We're gonna start here by opening it. If you pull this spool all the way up and you give it a good tug, it will pop the back right open. Ta-da! Inside the camera, it will look like this. Your film goes on the left. So go ahead and turn it upside down and place it in the camera, making sure this spool is pulled all the way up so your film doesn't get caught on it. Here, you're gonna wanna push it back down so that it is secure. Next, you'll pull out this film leader pull it across to the right side over the shutter area. And here's this little sprocket thing here, as you can see, it is crucial to make sure that you put the film around this properly. Now you're gonna hit the shutter button here on the top and then wind the film. As you're winding the film, you should see the sprockets get caught in the little notches. If this is your first time, it can't hurt to do it twice just to make sure once it's wound up on there, you can go ahead and close the back and then you can push the shutter button two more times to advance the film. This is because anything that has come out of the film canister is exposed to the light. Now, one last thing is pay attention to the left-hand side because if the film is loaded properly, you should see this automatically turning with the film. And once you get the film all loaded properly, you can tear off a piece of this film box here and put it in this little spot just so you remember what film you're shooting. One other thing is if by chance you have a camera with an electronic shutter, it's possible, and I probably should have said this at the beginning, that you will have trouble trying to click the button and then advance the film because you need to have the batteries in the camera in order for it to work. Now, not all cameras are like that. For example, this one has a little latch over here and that's how I can open the back to be able to take the film out and put it in. And also, instead of having a nice cool lever, I have just this little thing here and when I pull it up, I have to turn it really hard with my thumb. That's just little quirks about this camera. Of course, I can't tell you how your camera might operate, but if you do have any questions or aren't sure about anything, you're of course welcome to put your comments in the comments below and I'd be happy to take a look at it and give you any advice I can possibly give you. Well, now that we got our film all loaded up, let's go on now and shoot. And I'm back. So I'm gonna tell you really quickly how you can take the film out of your camera after you've shot it. On the bottom, there's a, a release button. Make sure you push this down while you flip this up and then you'll spin it and spin it until it's all wound up and then you can pop the back open and take the film out of it. And then you can load it with some new film. Watch the video all over again. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to do all the things, like, share, and comment on this video. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin and happy shooting. Shoot. I can't see anything, so shoot. Oops. This is not working. Ugh.